In this video, we're going to be looking at connecting the Arduino with a DHT11 temperature humidity sensor. In addition, we are going to combine this with an I2C LCD display. And later, we will hook up another type of temperature sensor, which I will go over later on in the video. The electrical hookup for the DHT11 is very simple. It is a one wire device that goes on a selected microprocessor pin, 5 volts and ground, and really there's nothing much else to it. Um, let's go ahead and look at a video of this circuit in action. All right, what you're seeing here is another one of my Arduino projects. Uh, it actually combines several different things. Um, at the middle bottom of the screen, of course, is an LCD display. But this is not your typical LCD display. This is one that uses the I2C protocol, which say which goes which starts out taking you from about 10 connections down to 4. Uh, it's very easy to interface and it would be great for beginners who want to get an LCD display working. I guess they call it serial. Yes, it's serial, but it's not serial as in the 9600 baud stuff you use to, on a terminal. It uses the I2C protocol. Continuing on, um, here's my Arduino Mini that I've used in several projects. And this here is a DHT11 humidity temperature sen it's, uh, sensor. It detects um, both temperature and humidity, and that's what's displayed on my LCD display. Also hooked up with it is the 18, I think, SB20 temperature sensor. I just have to change the programming slightly. And we'll do that in a moment. But for the beginner, hey, this, this is a way to get stuff really working. If you can detect um, humidity and temperature this easy, the applications are endless. Um, I did do a design a couple, about two years back for uh, hatching chicken eggs. Well, I'm going to update that and use the DHT11 uh, and, and you can't beat it. You can make yourself one heck of a chicken egg hatcher among many other uses including a small mini greenhouse that I'm building. And so when I get those done, I'll be sure to film those and upload them as well. And a few last words, I wish to thank the Arduino community, who, with all of us working together, we have come up collectively as a group with all the great ideas and stuff. And this is what open source people working um, without government interference, without government regulations and meddling, this is the results. And the price here, everything you see on this board, yeah, minus the uh, serial cable that I use to program the Arduino, everything here maybe 25 bucks. And you couldn't dream of this 10, 10, 15 years ago. It just wasn't happening. So let's continue on. We're, let's see what the uh, 18SB20 will look like when I reprogram it. This is a closer look at the LCD connections using the I2C protocol. The main difference, if you look at the schematic on the left, is I went from 8 to 10 connections actually down to 4 if you include power and ground. 
that saves quite a bit of wiring and aggravation and it frees up a lot of our microprocessor pins. Here is a closer illustration of this, this typical board. These are designed to work with a standard HD 44780 display. Um, these can be bought off of eBay for with the display even with the shipping for less than ten dollars. Next we will be coming to a different sensor using the same board and it's the DS 18B20 temperature sensor. Unlike the DHT11 it only does temperature and it is another simple three pin device. Um, you hook it up to ground, five volts and, the, and a processor pin based with a 4.7K pull up resistor. Welcome back. Um, here again I have my Arduino with my I2C serial LCD display but instead of the DHT11 humidity temperature sensor I've decided to go with the DS18 S20 temperature sensor. It's a one wire device and as you can see I programmed it to display the temperature in both centigrade and Fahrenheit. There is a slight difference in temperature reading between the uh, two sensors. This one and the DHT 11 but the other ones but they're within a degree of each other and again the uh, ease of construction because it's almost modular in a way between the uh, serial LCD display the temperature sensor the humidity sensor in fact I could run the hum both sensors the LCD display and everything all at once on Arduino and I can actually switch between them for different purposes. Again the flexibility of the Arduino is is just cannot be beat. Now I've tried pickaxe, I've tried pick chips. Uh, for most applications the Arduino just blows them away. Uh, I've tried some parallax stuff. I just don't care for those either. And with the large community we have for Arduino, uh, the sky's the limit. Now if we could just build ourselves a rocket, connect an Arduino to it, and go to the moon, hey, we'll really be getting somewhere. But who knows, one day I could see the Arduino or something similar being put in a Mars rover. And so I hope you uh, enjoyed this little view here. Now, like I said, uh, these are fairly easy to construct. Uh, I'll have the uh, sample code and how to construct them up on my website. That's www.bristolwatch.com. Thanks for viewing. Thanks for watching my video and visit my website at www dot bristolwatch dot com